Hope Uzadinma of Imo State has raised the alarm that the current wave of insecurity in the country is the worst in the nation's history. According to the governor, leadership and patriotism being exhibited by President Muhammad Buhari-led administration are the way out. Speaking yesterday in Ushafa Buhari Area Council, Abuja, where he presented a paper on national security and sustainable development at the National Institute of Security Studies. He cried out on imminent swallowing up of Imo land by gully erosion. According to him, while peace and security are sine qua non for development, it can also be said that real development driven by good leadership com governance are also a precursor to peace and security. The very reason President Buhari's leadership will help in getting Nigeria out of the woods. He said, it may not be an exaggeration to say that the current wave of insecurity in the land is one of the worst in recent history. Truth to tell, in the last 10 years, the country has never had it this bad in terms of security, challenges or insecurity as it were. The direct consequence is that Nigeria that was once perceived as a peaceful place for residents and businesses by foreigners is now listed among the dangerous places to visit in the travel adversaries of many countries. Speaking further, Governor Uzadinma listed factors such as ethnicity, religious difference, illiteracy, unemployment, poverty and perennial problem of porous borders as causes and anatomy of insecurity in Nigeria. Poverty, according to him, is the strongest of the factors causing insecurity in Nigeria. Since going by available statistics, 51.4% or 98 million Nigerians are living in penury with attendant penchants for crimes and criminality. He said that the problem is seriously being addressed by President Muhammadu Buhari-led government through series of social intervention programs. He said, similar thing is being done in Imo State with the establishment of Entrepreneurship and Skills Acquisition Ministry which had trained about 10,000 youths and targeting 200,000 altogether for wealth generation through self-employment. His poverty eradication government in Imo State, he lamented, is, however, seriously being threatened by a natural disaster known as gully erosion, adding, is at the risk of being swallowed by gully erosion. As at the last count, Imo has 300 active erosion sites, which cut across the 27 local government areas of the state. About 100 of them, mainly in Idiator North, Idiator South, Njaba, Olu, and Owere West, are deadly by putting many homes and lives in danger of being washed away. The attention of the federal government, he added, has been sought for urgent intervention on the life-threatening gully erosion. The lecture was given, or the lecture given by Governor Uzadinma was the 13th of such since the establishment of the institute. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story and uh, what uh, 
Governor Hope Uzodinma has said concerning the issue of insecurity in Nigeria. Well, be that as it were, we all know this is the same thing that a lot of people have been talking about and been crying about. And that is why people have called on the president to uh, uh, reject the security apparatus in the state, especially the service chiefs, starting from there. That will signal to the Nigerian people that, of a truth, he is really already and really uh, working to fighting the situation of insecurity in the country. But he has blatantly refused. So everybody knows that insecurity in Nigeria is a big challenge and is a big issue that needs to be addressed immediately. But the president has failed to do that despite promises upon promises, despite um, continuous uh, encouragement or con uh, condemnation of you know, killings and other vices, he has failed to do the needful, which is to address the issue of insecurity in the country, which is not rocket science. Even a layman, if given the privilege, given the opportunity, the resources to occupy that position of the president of Nigeria, would at least to a very large extent do a better job than what the president is doing now. I stand to be corrected, but that is how I see it, because this is not rocket science. The, the, it, what is not working needs to be changed. What is not working needs to be addressed. It's as simple as that. What is there to relieve these service chiefs of their duties? Their tenure had expired long ago. So why are you still keeping them is the question. We understand the uh, prerogative powers of the president, but the cry of the people should be the uh, most powerful uh, power, or, or as it were, that the president has. Almost week in, week out, there are cases of recorded deaths, which are as a result of the level of insecurity in the country. Various segments, regions, states of the country have experienced their own fair share of these attacks. But nothing has been done about it by Mr. President. And it, be, it continued to, you know, uh, shock the populace and the people that what could be the issue? Why has the president refused to do the needful? So if um, Governor Hope Uzadinma is coming out to tell us that... Uh, uh, the, the, the challenges that the country is being faced, insecurity and all whatever. It is what everybody knows. It is what the world knows. And it is what Nigerians have been crying for and saying they should be asked, uh, uh, have been calling for attention to be addressed. It is really, really sad and unfortunate. I stand to be corrected. Be that as it were. So it is what it is, guys. The governor of Imo State, Hope Zodima, if he is just knowing this, then it is sad and unfortunate. But well, this is what a lot of people have been talking about long before now, and they've been complaining. But it is what it is. It is everybody is it is hitting everybody hard right now. While some are facing it squarely, some are still uh, you know probably still have the privilege of uh, going now uh, skipping it. But nobody can you know escape it for long. It's going to hit everybody if nothing is done about it. So that is just the truth, and that is the situation of things. Well, be that as it were, guys. Drop by the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.